competitive are you guys? Listen, I was born a winner, so I don't know. Oh, gosh. Is that? Go! Hello, mes amours. Welcome to another great episode of the Before the Veil show. My name is Melissa Philippi, your host and owner of Finest Planning and Decor Designing, where we design and plan for our distinctive, elegant, and timeless couples. Today, with us, we have one of the industry's favorite and his beautiful wife. Put your hands together for Mr. Greg and Deidre. How are you, ma'am? I am are doing you? well. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're great. We're good. Thank I mean, you for having us. First of all, thank you for having us. Like, we're honored to be here. So we were going to have the Before the Veil and not invite Mr. Greg Listen, I'm just and honored. his wife? I'm just honored where, you know, someone within the industry that does amazing work, you know, takes the opportunity to acknowledge and call you, you know, so thank you. Oh, no, definitely, definitely. It was important that I had you guys here because there are some things that we need to talk about. Yes, <laughs> yes. There were some major life events that happened, mm. and we want the deets. Yes. We want the details. Yes. We want to all the tea today. All, all right. It. Yes, what do you want to know? Well, first of all, okay. introduce yourself, what you do, and we're going to throw it to Greg after that. Go okay. ahead. So my name is Deidre McClover Jewels. I, am, I work in the interior design industry. I am an interior stylist. I do residential properties. Um, my company is Curated Spaces, and we transform homes for families, businesses, uh, all, the, all, the, all the interiors. And I've been seeing your work. You do amazing work. Thank you. I love your aesthetic. Thank I you. love your style. Thank you. I'm humbled. <laughs> and Mr. Greg. Hey, I am Greg Jules. I am her manservant <laughs> to Curate Spaces, right? <laughs> You know, I, I, I believe I've signed up to do things that uh, I didn't know I was capable of doing. Are, and, uh, you, are you a husband to a creative? I, I've turned from a photographer to a handyman <laughs> and yeah, and all the things, all right. the things, you know. So I'm a wedding events, social photographer. You know, I love capturing love. I love just, you know, giving the bride and the couple just something to look back at and be like, oh my God, this was my day. Oh my God, I remember when Greg was telling me to slay and pose and all these things. Because mm -hmm. I'm comfortable just directing a ride and letting her do things that may feel uncomfortable to her. But when they see them in, you know, post and when she receives that gallery, it's like, wow, I understand his madness. Oh, you yeah. never go wrong, Greg. Yeah, you never you. go wrong. Thank you. With, with other creatives such as yourself, um, you. with people that's done, um, the um how do you call the style shoots yes, with you yes, yes. and how you i was one of your you've been there you've been my model you've been in front of that camera quite a few times yes and it, it was amazing how your husband was able to bring certain things out of me that i didn't i didn't know that i needed to do yes, or knew what to yes. do and he's like melissa listen melissa slays don't don't even let her she was like greg i don't know and then she gets behind the camera it's like face <laughs> face <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, right. We can I mean, play you, this game. you are beautiful. He's she talented, she and is. so it's, it's just it a perfect no, situation. He, he definitely did a great job when it came to me um, introducing myself to the wedding industry. You know how he captured everything that we talked about. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been That's a while, right. but we'll thank you back. so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't think about those things, but like the relationship that are created and mm -hmm. how far back you go, and it's just like, oh wow, you know. So yeah, you, know, you enter things with a pure heart you know, with the hopes that one of these days it's going to blow and blossom into something that it has. And I think that's one of the reasons why your husband is so popular in this industry. You will notice that people from across the way, they will know him, they will call up on him, because I yeah. see your work at many yeah. different um, planners page yeah. where mm -hmm. either it's a real that you. you are now mastered yeah. and became the <laughs> yes. real man. Yes. And or, you know, detail shots, um, weddings, yeah. a lot of amazing weddings. So I think it's the fact that you're able to um, you're able to assist people yeah. in their growth. That's important. That's one. I think that's important. Yeah. And I think you also um, have great, you maintain great relationship. No, that's critical. Because for me, Absolutely. relationships surpass everything else. You know, it's one of those things where like, I remember coming into the industry and you didn't have that. You know, yeah. I didn't have it. So it was just one of those things like I was just shooting in the dark. I was like, you know what? All I can do is bring me to the table 
and give the best of me in hopes that people will receive it, accept it, and then see what I've been doing. So I know like a list of amazing plans I've had the privilege of working with from the time they started to now they're doing like amazing productions. So it's one of those things that those relationships really have, you know, they turned over a beautiful thing. Absolutely. And, and people remember that. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm, I'm grateful. So let's go back to the two of you guys mm. for the main reason that you guys are yes. here today. <laughs> so um, I was minding my own business, mm. Mm. okay? Mm. And then there was this amazing proposal Jeez. popped up wow. in my feed. I said, wait a minute. What happened? <laughs> what is going on? Because the last time I talked to uh, Greg, which was a while ago again yeah, in yeah. regards to that, yeah. I don't think you guys were in that space. No. And no. then, boom, proposal. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I knew before you don't. But anyway, sorry. Yeah, Listen, <laughs> I was surprised. I was just as surprised as you. Yeah. So tell me, how did you curate such an amazing proposal um, from Florida to Africa? Wow. 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 You know, so we, we've always been like infatuated, like, you know, we have to go to Africa. Because growing up, like, the depiction of Africa was always poverty. Mm -hmm. It was like always well, help, 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 help feed the children with the pot bellies. And I'm like, this, this can't be the largest continent in the world with all the diamonds and all these things, and this is what they're showing. So we've always been, you know, pro go see the continent. So when we finally decided to say that we're going to go and do this, I was like, oh. And then when I found out that we were going to South Africa, I was like, oh. So I started research and I was like, okay, this is a beautiful place. We're going to go Table Mountain, which overlooked the entire like Cape Town, Cape Town, mm -hmm. you know, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I was like, this is what I want to, um, this is what I want to propose, you know, and I started planning the process of reaching out to, our <laughs> <laughs> reaching out to the tour guide. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, this is what I want to do. Um, give me some guidance. So. So I started planning from here, and then we went ring shopping, right? Ring shopping with, without, I, I, I recruited one of my friends, and I was like, hey, bro, I, I need to go buy a ring. And I'm surprised, I and mean, we'll go back to that conversation, I'm surprised I'm even having that conversation, because <laughs> this wasn't in our, well, I wouldn't say it was in our cards, but this was part of what we didn't want. Mm -hmm. We didn't Initially. want to get married, because we've mm -hmm. both been there. So, not to cut you off, yes, no, no, just good. so you know some of the back end. So, right. I was having, again, another um, shoot with Greg. Yes. Okay. And then he mentioned, he was like, I want to do something, but I, yeah. I want to do it big. Yeah. You know, oh. when it yeah. comes to the proposal. Yeah. And I remember before that, he yes. mentioned it wasn't something that you guys were considering. Right. No. right. And right. then all of a sudden, he yeah. wants to do it, and it's yeah. going to be big. Yeah. So, I was just like, okay. <laughs> and then so that's why I was so surprised yes, you like know we yes. everyone you know what's funny about it everyone thought we were married because of all the things we were doing together mm -hmm. yeah you know, they were everyone, confused people were like what, you proposed but aren't y'all already married, married. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like I was like no. yeah it seems like we are it does seem like it. you know we purchased properties flipped them yeah no we're not so I guess when you know you know yeah. Yeah, we knew. Um, yeah. But, you know, we just, when we got together, we just said, you know, these are the things we don't need. Yeah. We don't need to get married. We've yeah. already done that. We yeah. don't need to have children. Our, Our children, children are yeah. almost adults. Children were off the table. And I was like, it's, it's, so I, I'll, I'll go back real quick. Like, so let me finish South Africa, then I have to tell you about okay. our first date because that was, <laughs> huh. right, right, right. You know, so once, like I said, we, I was planning with the guy while he was in South Africa, just communicate with him. And he was like, okay, we'll make it work. And my part was to make sure I secure the ring. And I went ring shopping and we had a whole production. I recorded stuff. I was a mess. I was a mess. I was like, I don't believe I'm doing this again. But ultimately we got the right ring and we got there. The plan was to propose on Table Mountain, but her mother um, was afraid of heights. Okay. It's incredibly high. And her grandmother, you know, couldn't take the hike because we had to take a, a rail cart, which took us up the mountain. And it was really cold up there. So I think it was probably like in the 30s. It was really cold. It was yes. really and cold windy. up there. Cold mm -hmm. and windy. So it didn't work out. So the guy was like, hey, I have a, I have a second plan. I got something else. And I was like, okay, please make it happen. Meanwhile, I know nothing. She know, and the, the entire happening? bus knows at this point. She knew nothing. And I communicated with my cousin. Her mother was like, no, I'm not getting off the bus because I get off this bus. <laughs> We have a whole production going on 
here. <laughs> we had drones. It was crazy. So we just, you know, it was honestly, I didn't know how I was going to do it because my mind, I planned for Table Mountain. And when we had an opportunity to do it, it was like, okay, mm -hmm. let me go and just get on the knee and, and did it. But I did the pre-work. I spoke to, you know, my bonus daughter. I spoke to her. I was like, this is what I wanted to do with your mother. I called her father. I did what I've never done and what I felt in my heart that I should have done. So I called okay. her father, spoke to her father. I spoke to everyone around that I need to. I spoke to my mom, I spoke to my sister, and I was like, okay, as long as you're ready, then go ahead and do it. That's just amazing. So we're gonna take a quick break. This story is so beautiful. Yeah. Of course, we want more of it. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Attention all brides to be, elevate your wedding day look with the exquisite bridal jewelry and headpiece from Jewels by Charles. Our collection features unique and luxurious design crafted to make you shine on your special day. Follow us on Instagram at Jewels by Charles for a glimpse into our stunning creation. Whether you prefer in-person or virtual consultation, we're here to help you find that perfect piece to complement your style. Make your bridal dreams come true with Jewels by Charles. Welcome back, Ms. Amo. Let's continue with Deidre and Greg on their epic proposal. So, Deidre, were you expecting all of this? Uh, no, not at all. And even when he proposed on Hot, Hot Bay? Hot Bay. Hot Bay, yes. South Africa. It took me by surprise. I'm like, wait, how did you get this by me all this time without me knowing? I had no, I'm usually in the know of mm -hmm, all the things. Mm -hmm. Nothing is by me. So when he kneeled down on one knee, I'm like, what? <laughs> what is happening? I was so surprised, like overcome with emotions. Caught you by surprise, huh? Yes, and what was so exciting is that there were 15 of us in our group. Okay. My mom was there, my grandmother. Oh, it was a whole family It trip. was family, friends, it was the children. It was, it was beautiful. And so I'm happy it, was, for you guys. it was just like the perfect opportunity. And how he kept it from me, I was just, but I knew something was up. Mm. I knew it because he was different. He was different on the trip. I'm like, why? What's happening? Like, Did he get quiet or something? No, he was just <laughs> really anxious. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, at certain moments, I'm like, okay, babe, I don't know what's happening but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yes, yes. And so when it finally happened, I'm like, okay, this is why he was so on edge. He was nervous. So when did you guys decide this would be in the cards for you guys? Whew. So what had happened was, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if we, if we rewind and go back to, you know, when we met, this, like I said, this wasn't in the cause when we met. Mm -hmm. um, our first date almost didn't happen because somebody, I won't say who, uh -oh. was like not trying to go on a date. Oh. You know, I think I was in Peru. Um, she was in my DMs. Oh. oh. And, you know, I was in Peru minding my own business. And, you know, I got a friend request. And then I was like, oh, who's this sexy natural hair woman with okay. this big hair? You know, and all the things that, you know, that, that were appeasing to me. I was like, okay. Yeah. So when I got home, I was like, yo, I want to cook for you. Um, you come to my house, this and that. And it was like, I don't know you. You're not about to kidnap and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> like, who does that? <laughs> so wait a minute. Oh, yeah. It seems, like, it seems like you weren't in his DM. Were you in his DM or were you not let in me, his let DM? Let me tell you what really happened. Tell the people. OK. So we met at a networking event. OK. And I met everyone there, all the professionals. We exchanged business cards, information. I friended everyone on Facebook. You heard that. <laughs> everyone, <friended> everyone. <laughs> everyone that I had met. I, I did not them, friend her. He <laughs> friended me. I sent everyone a friend request. And he posted something on Facebook about veganism, veganism I yeah, think. Yeah. And I responded in the comments. And two minutes later, my DMs are going off. I'm like, oh, okay. Here so we you go. were in her DM. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't have been able to get in the DMs if she didn't send the DM friend request, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay. 
Okay. She shot her shot. I first. let him have it. We're gonna go with his story. I let him have okay. it. Okay, let him have it. You know, and, and you know, that was one of the first things we said like on, on our first date. It was mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm not looking to be somebody's wife. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to be somebody's um, bear of children. Oh, and I was wow. like, I'm oh. Done. Very straightforward. I huh? was like, my love language, yes, because I don't want any of those things either, you know? <laughs> Been there, done that, and that was that. And fast forward, like we started doing a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. um, we started, like I said, we, we, you know, a journey came about, and it was one of those, you know, that Jamie Foxx song, Blame It on the Hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was one of those nights, and, you know, journey came about. Oops. And it was like, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> You're locked in. <laughs> you know, it was just, and she was on edge because she was like, this was not supposed to happen. You said you, you didn't said. want any children. It was, it was wild, you know, but after we got past that, it was like, okay, now, um, you know, because my first thought was, okay, we were in the condo. I was like, my, my first thought was like, okay, we have to buy a bigger house mm -hmm. because all our children, you know, I want mm -hmm. people to have their own rooms and we want the kids to be comfortable and so right. forth and so on. So we purchased our first home together and, and living there, we did everything together. At that point, that's when I knew it was like she had something with, you know, interior designing because she, you know, really talked about constructing the house and basically renovating it because we completely renovated it. And after we did that, it was like, okay, we bought this house, we did all these things. People started like, okay, you gotta build a house together. You guys, um, then we sold the house. Then it was like, okay, you guys sold the house and now we buying another house. And it was like, you guys have done all of this. Mm -hmm. You guys have started businesses, purchasing all these things mm -hmm. and you guys aren't married. And Like when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get married? Of course, and that's I think always gonna be the question. Mm -hmm. It's true. And for me, it was just the piece that she offered. Because I'm wild, right? I'm wild, I'm crazy, I'm Haitian, I'm loud. You know, it was just, I'm all those things. And she was the complete, or she is the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. She's that calming spirit that really just, it's going to give you like the positive reinforcement. She's going to give you all those things. She's going to give me those things that I need, you know, mm -hmm. because that's all part of, you know, my love language. And, and I was like, man, you know, this person, we work well together. We respect each other. Like we, we talk with each other, we respect. We mm -hmm. are raising our kids with the same uh, morals and belief systems Absolutely. and we clicked on so many different things mm -hmm. and it was just one of those things I was like man you know I am thinking the thing that I completely was opposed to <laughs> and you know what when you have the right one around you yeah my husband wasn't supposed to get married until he was 33 right he mm. was gonna be a player for life oh, three, oh, three. oh. Mm -hmm. isn't that the Jesus number is that the 33 Jesus number I think that's <laughs> what it was like I'll turn my cars in yeah, at around the Jesus time uh -huh. <laughs> When you know, you know. Absolutely. We got married wow. very young, very young. I was yeah. 23, he was 26. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, mind yeah. you, he was supposed to get married. He was and supposed to be- He still has some years He still has some time. Yeah. You took some years from him. Uh, no, he did not. I, he took years from me. <laughs> from you, right? <laughs> yeah, I was 23. <laughs> but it's it, it just, it just that when you find that person- Absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of the beliefs that you had, a mm -hmm. lot of the ways that you felt, yeah. mm -hmm. and it could be for a multitude of things that you felt that way, that, you know, we would never take this step again, you know, yeah. we would not do this, we would not do that. But yeah. then, it seems like you are his, his calm. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're yeah. the yin to his yin. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it, and, and it works. I'm a very traditional person, but mm -hmm. I also do believe that, you know, I truly believe that God put people together. Yeah. It's For not sure. always going to be in our eyes what's traditional. For sure. And you guys had a very, Non-traditional non -traditional mm -hmm. approach. Yeah, it was Absolutely. completely opposed to anything that somebody would have written down. Because a lot of people said it, you know, people were trying to drop hints, so when are you mm -hmm. going to get married? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, when we're ready. <laughs> and you know, I always had to tell people our main focus is a healthy relationship yeah. and a happy home. Absolutely. That was our focus. Like, everything else will come as it's supposed to. And so with our natural progression, <laughs> It came. It did. And then now you're married. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk about the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> the wedding. The beautiful wedding. Who led the planning? Well, so because I'm in the industry, right. mm -hmm. uh, I just lean in. I, I have a, a, a special friend with my friend Tariq. Like she's like. She's so sweet. You know, she's, she's, she's my sister. Like she, you know, I, it's, she's my sister, right? So. It was one of the things, once we decided that, okay, this is what we're gonna do, and the proposal had occurred, she was immediately, Greg, you know what's happening, right? <laughs> I was like, Tariq. 
She's like, it's done. I got the floors. I got mm -hmm. this. I got that. And I was like, okay, well. Okay, thank let's, you. Let's, let's go. Aww. You know, I have a hard time asking people. You know, okay. like I have a very hard time asking anyone for anything. Mm -hmm. You know, because I have a lot of amazing friends in the event planning world. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was just one of those things I could have, you know, easily said, hey, I need this, this, and that. And a lot of people would have came through. So I didn't, that's not one of the things I wanted to do. I respect people's right. businesses. I respect their rates and I respect their time and their craft. And I was like, you know what, I'm in this, um, I'll figure it out. And she she came and she was like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. And I was like, okay, so so her and I worked together and then it was a, at a point where I'm not one of those that like to keep lists and everything. I was like, okay, I need to hand this over to DJ because <laughs> yeah. that's not my, my ministry. That's, I'm that's not it. <laughs> you know, I'm a creative at mine, so it's like, okay, I have all these things in my mind. The list is great. Tomorrow, that but is the gone. The administra administrative That's, side yeah, is not, not you. That's absolutely. not me. Yeah. Um, so. And, and that's what we were so surprised about yeah. when we saw the wedding online. Yeah. Yeah. And the surprise was not that, was not only that Greg is married. Yeah. It was for the people that know Greg mm -hmm. is that it seems like they had a very intimate wedding. Yes. Beautiful, yes. but very intimate. Yes. And the question that I have for you is that with knowing all these amazing people in the industry that could have, you know, help you with yes. Anything that you need, yeah. because I know that you have great friends in the industry. Yeah. So what made you guys go that route to have it so intimate, just family and friends? Yeah. Actually, um, it was just family. It's just, well, no, it was even less than that. So it was Deidre, myself, and Journey, and our... Shanice's which number? She's the third from the oldest. She's the third from the oldest. She happened to be in town during that time in mm -hmm. college. So it was like, well, you're here, so I guess mm -hmm. you'll be here. So we were very intentional to keep it between, I mean, honestly, this year was gonna be one, two, and three. Her, myself, and Journey. Okay, that would really, have been it. not really, because Journey knew about it. Yes. So that's why she that's, was, that was Yeah, 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 it's true. But if she didn't know? If she didn't know, she no. Would been there <laughs> she wouldn't have been there. She wouldn't be invited right. to your wedding. Nope. She had already assigned herself flower girl. She did, yeah. Before, she did. you know, journey. So, she was like, I'm going to be the flower girl. I need a dress. And I was like. She's like, mommy, we need to look for my dress now. I was like, oh. Go, journey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. So, but, you know, for, for me, like, I have seen, it. like, I'm in the industry. So I've seen people spend hundreds of thousands of mm -hmm. dollars on weddings. Mm -hmm. And. You know, I've seen people have intimate weddings and I was like, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. if I was to ever do this, this is what I like. I'm really attracted. Like we're very private. We seem to be very public, but we're very private. Like everything that happens within home is like, this is it. Mm -hmm. And we love our home. We love, love to keep home. things intimate, you know, just keep things tight, small within this little community that we've created. We love that, you know, so that was all part of, okay, this is what we're going to do for the wedding. We want to do the same thing. We want to have it where it's just us. And I know a lot of people are like, yup, you didn't invite parents? No. My mother, my sister, her mom, her brothers, her grandmother, no one, because Greg, we knew her dad. See- Your mom still talked to you? Oh, my mother was hot. And I mean, she may not admit it. I know she was upset, my sister yeah. was upset. I know, her, I know people were upset. Listen, we're gonna continue with that in just a moment, because I need to know how your family's treating you right now, <laughs> being Haitian. So, we'll be right back. Make sure you're back for this. <laughs> no way, Greg. Listen. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we dealt with it. you guys are ready for this next part because I know being Haitian this is not easy to pull off so Greg I'm gonna go straight to you <laughs> is your mom talking or not talking Ooh. to you you know I have gotten a lot of tongue scoldings just you know it's, it's been privately because I've never heard it you know loudly <laughs> you know but but I, I, I know it's happened you know so it's one of those things where I think you know we said it's either no one or everyone. Yeah. And our family both are like, you know, if we had I invited my mom and not her mom, she would have been her personal feelings. Absolutely. Had I invited 
her brothers and not my sister. Right. They would have been in his feelings, you know? So we didn't want a house full of just people and mm -hmm. that's not what we wanted. We wanted to keep it very intimate. And we told him, like, hey, we're gonna share photos with you. We're gonna do all these things, but I already knew. I already knew my name was, like, you know, my name was dirty in them streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was dirty. <laughs> it was, it was tough because I knew they, they were in their feelings, they were upset about it, but we spoke to everyone. Yeah, we told okay, everyone that, hey, we're not inviting you, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. And everyone, you know, surface level, they understood. Mm -hmm. But I know, my mother was like, mm, c'est mm. ça, mm. mm, okay. Why just half week? Half week. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but you know what? I, I appreciate the fact. That's some boldness. Yes. Okay. It was, um, it was bold. And um, I, I don't think I would ever take that route because yeah. I would have no family. Yeah. But yeah. you guys are grown. You guys yes. are adults. Yes. And you wanted something just the two of you guys. Yes. That's it. And your daughter happened to just invite herself. She you, did. Yeah. Journey. Yeah. Journey. yeah. <laughs> so. You did exactly what you wanted. Yeah. So now, which leads me to ask you guys. Um, so, not only was it intimate, because sometimes you can have an intimate wedding, mm -hmm. and you invest a lot in it. Yeah. Right? right. And I want to touch on the financials with you guys. Absolutely. So let me know what was the cost of your wedding. So everything.